Hi, my name's Dave Page, and in this short video I'm going to show you the changes we've made to the runtime for PG Admin 4 in version 5.0. For those of you that have been using PG Admin for some time, you might remember that the original releases 1.0 through 2.1 used a runtime based on Qt, which had an embedded browser. The problem we found fairly quickly was that the Qt browser components performed poorly on some systems which led to user complaints about the performance and the speed in general. From PG Admin 4 v3.0 right through to the current v4.30, we used a runtime with a Qt-based system tray server, which then called out to the user's browser. This performed much more acceptably than the Qt embedded browser, but occasionally it could lead to errors, and it was kind of a confusing architecture that a lot of people didn't like. So starting with PD Admin 4 version 5.0, the next release, we've changed the way that works. Since we originally did the work on the earlier versions of PG Admin, similar tools and embedded browser technologies have come a long way. For example, NWJS, Electron and Ceph as another example. PG Admin v5 has been re-architected to use NWJS in desktop mode. That gives you an up-to-date Chromium-based user interface with all the performance advantages of Chrome and the V8 JavaScript engine underneath. And it gives you a much more normal application experience when running in desktop mode. There's no separate server process running in the system tray anymore. So I'm going to pause the slides there and give a quick demo. As you can see, I've already downloaded the DMG file for my Mac machine onto my desktop. On Windows, you'll have an installer. On Linux, you'll have Debian packages or RPM packages as appropriate. On the Mac, we open the disk image file. We get the standard license agreement. And then MacOS will verify the disk image looks OK and open up a finder window for us. On Windows, obviously, this will be a click-through wizard-type installer, as is normal on that platform. The first thing you'll notice is that we now have a nice background for the disk image. To install, we're simply going to drag and drop into applications, typically. And that'll copy the application across, and it'll be ready for us to use. Now that the application is installed, we can just run it like any other app. The first time you run it, MacOS will verify all the signatures and make sure that it's a legitimate package. Now you see that it's already picked up the existing configuration from my previous installation of PG Admin. So I can just open, unlock my passwords and connect straight to a database server. Now you'll notice there's no system tray icon. There is a regular system menu with PG Admin. And it's all running in its own window. Another nice option with the new runtime is that we can use actual new windows for things like the query tool if we choose. If we go into File and then Preferences and click on Tab Settings, we can specify that we want any of these to open in new tabs. So if I just select Query Tool there, hit Save, and then open a new Query Tool, you can see that's opened up in a completely new window. So that's it, a very quick demo. We hope you enjoy the new version of PG Admin. Thank you.